Apparently Helena Grove has been flirting with Pip- Well, you don't fucking say, they're dating. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, another part of Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural. So, it's been a quick minute since I have- I always start every single video like this. It's so ridiculous. I need to stop. Anyway, it's been a while since I recorded this, like a month or so, I don't know. I have videos pre-recorded, but I don't have time to edit them. I do have time to edit them. It's just I literally have no motivation, and it takes way too fucking long, I'm just saying. Anyway, let's- I need to shut up and stop talking. Um, hi, how are ya? How's it going? I, you know, it's freaking fantastic. Anyway, uh, we are here with Pip and, uh, Helena. Oh my god, he's actually really cute. Let me just get a quick screenshot here. Um, actually- I did some things, um, off camera, and I updated the house. Hi, who is she? I really don't know. Um, but yeah, I updated the house. It looks pretty freaking cute. Let me go ahead and give you a tour. So basically, downstairs, what I did, am I recording? Let's hope that I am. I am. Good. Perfect. So downstairs, what I did was turn the alchemy room into a formal dining area, which is pretty cute, to just thing. And then the, um... Ollie's old bedroom is now the stairway slash like study area and then over here is Ollie's new bedroom which used to be Monty and Vanetta's bedroom but then you go upstairs and we have this cute little like landing area that's kind of like a sitting area it's got like some bookshelves and it's kind of like a study library kind of thing and then over here is a little Vix's bedroom which is so adorable I like Oh, this came with Supernatural, and I love this rocking horse so much. He can't use it yet, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, he will on three days, so it's Gucci. But his bedroom's are pretty freaking cute. I love this little lamp, too. I don't know. This came with, um, I think it's store content. I'm pretty sure. I think so. And then over here is the new alchemy room, which is basically just, like, the hallway. Um, but I like it a lot. And also, there is a certain book. It's Lady something God's Book of Spells. I was gonna buy it. I was going to buy it. That bitch is 72,000 simoleons. What the? No, I don't think so. We're going to have to wait until we have some more money because we only have 30,000. We only have 30,000, bitch. We, we kind of rich. We kind of popping off a little bit. But, um, yeah, bathroom. And then this is Monty and Vanetta's new bedroom, which is basically the exact same as before. Just, you know, I don't know. This, this bugs me. I don't like this. And I, I fucking hate this picture. I want to get rid of it, but I have nowhere else to put it. So... You know, I mean, I could put it here, but, like, that's kind of ugly. Like, it does not fit any other way. Like, what is this? Like, bitch, no. That's so dumb. It fits actually nowhere else. What is that? I'll just stick it here, then, because it looks better there anyway. I don't know why I didn't put it there. Anyway. Um, okay. So, yeah, that's basically the house. It's looking pretty freaking snazzy. Here's Miss Vanetta looking kind of angry. Okay, there we go. She's okay now. Um, but I kind of, I'm thinking about Helena and Pip moving in together. I know that's kind of fast, but, like, I kind of want him to move in, you know? Because I, I don't know, you guys. What should we do? Should we, like, have him move in? Or, like, no. We can adopt a pet from the shell. We need a cat. A black cat. I forgot. <gasps> we need a black cat. Okay. Uh, we, um, take a romantic photo. Oh, my God. Tea. I love that, sweaty. Can we get down, please? Thank you. Who was you texting, bitch? Excuse you? What the hell was that? No, sir. Wait. Oh! I didn't press the right button in time. Oh, well. Whoa, whoa. Stop floating. Um, let's just go ahead. I kind of wanted to move in, so let's just go talk to him. Be kind of friendly for a quick minute. Um, go ask him about a degree. Um, let's go confess to watching you sleep. No thanks. I'd rather not. <gasps> ah! He's leaving! Fuck you, Pip. I hate you so much. Literally, despise you. Go take a shower, Helena. I swear to God, Pip is just an asshole. Anyway, honey, why don't you come get the mail? I'm kind of hoping that there's something in the mailbox. Oh my god, this outfit's so cute. We have not seen her actually wear this outfit. <gasps> it's actually really cute. Why are all my outfits cute for her? I don't want to give her a makeover. That's how cute they are. This would not keep her warm at all, but it's fine. It's okay. What's in the mailbox, girly? I want a screenshot of this because, who knows, there could be something a little crazy in the mailbox. I'm kind of scared right now. 
I'm kind of scared. Was there nothing in the fucking- what? There was no mail. Why do we have two magic wands? I'm kind of fuzzled. Monty got a little promotion. Um, that's fantastic. Oh my god. T 35 simoleons per hour. You know what's funny? Um, Helena! Did I tell you? This dumb whore. Put Vix in the fucking crib, bitch. Won't give him a bottle anymore. God damn it. Can you- What the fuck did I say? What drugs are you actually on right now? I swear to God. If you- I hate you. I literally hate you. Get out of here. Get out. Get the hell out now. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Oh my god, we just made another 5,000 simoleons. I swear to god, Veneta is really out here just making money moves, honey. I swear to god. She's making money moves. Bitch, oh my god. Girl, just fucking change his diaper. Like, goddamn. Smuggle him. And then play with him. And then put him in the fucking crib. Like, goddamn, it's really not that difficult. Um, what is you doing? Respond to question. What is she gonna ask him? Do not ask him about his day. I don't care. I do not care about his day at all. Period. What are you doing? No. Go to bed. Get the fuck in the bed now. I hate you. Get Go away now. Thank you, Monty. Love you. Bye. Just kidding. I fucking hate you. I don't know why. This kid is green. And I don't think that he's a witch. Or like half witch. I don't really know how, um... Yeah, he's just a full vampire, I think. Oh, as Renata grows more powerful in the art of casting spells, love is natural. Oh my god, create love out of thin air with the love charm! Or test the boundaries of true love by turning the happy couple into toads with the- Oh my god! Wait, do we know how to do that now? Hold the phone, sister sweaty! <gasps> she can cast a toadification curse, oh my god. Okay, fuck that. We're, oh, I should have gotten rid of these. No, she wants to, though. She wants to do it, so I will let her do it at some point in time. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and just get some PB&J. Oh, my God. Ollie, honey. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, go ahead and wake up then, and then go go make your bed. There we go. Go make, go make your bed, and then just go watch some TV. And what are you doing? Okay, you're, you're just straight chilling. I kind of want her... I don't know when we're gonna have her get married or anything, but I kind of want to tap in soon. Uh, just go ahead and... Oh my god! Monty is now the father of a new baby girl. Madison just gave birth to a baby girl named Maureen. Maureen. Okay, T. <laughs> um, T. Let's actually throw a fairy house party, um, just because we can, you know what I'm saying? So let's go throw a fairy house party. Fun and fresh. And then... Y'all, oh my god. He's literally the father of a baby girl. What even is this? He had a boy and a girl. Y'all, oh my god. Consume plasma juice? Oh my god. You guys! Uh, wait, honey, you need to make something real fast. Just potent invigorating. Actually, potent skill booster. Do that. Um, We need to call her, please? Like, get the fuck up now. Call your woman, please, and shanks. Thank you very much. You have work now in like two seconds. There we go. Gone to work. Thank you. And he's doing so good in his job. The fact that he makes more money than a doctor is kind of hilarious. That's... <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh my god. Uh, he's okay. He's straight. Oh my god. So he now knows that he's a father, which is great. Um, I love that for him. Okay, we're going to make another potion. We're going to make potent invigorating. Apparently, Helena Grove has been flirting with poop. Well, you don't fucking say. They're dating. So it's about like midnight-ish. And basically, Veneta went to sleep after caring for Vix and whatnot. And the house was so quiet and blah, blah, blah whatever. And Ollie's out of work and everything. But... While they were, while her and Monty were sleeping, Monty rolled over and was going to be all cute and whatever and, you know, 
snuggle Veneta, hold her and everything, but it, as soon as he touched her, Veneta, dead in her sleep, got these images, these flashing images, a vision or premonition, what have you, and basically she saw Monty with some woman in the midst of, you know, some romance. And we, of course, know who that woman is. She does not. So she's taking it as a sign, obviously. You know, this stuff happens to witches every now and again. Not every witch gets, like, a premonition or a vision or anything like that. But something inside of her just kind of struck whenever Monty touched her. And she, she doesn't want to believe it. But she knows that when something like this happens... You better heed the goddamn warning, otherwise something bad could happen or you're just going to be fucked the entire time. So, she's sitting here pondering, thinking, and she's she doesn't know what to think, to be honest. You know, she's kind of got this blank expression on her face, but she wants to stay up until Ollie comes home and confide in him. She hasn't talked to Ollie that much since he even moved in. Like, they're friends again, they... They've rekindled some of the relationship that they had before, some of their friendship, but it's still not to where it used to be, and she used to always confide into Ollie, but she hasn't been able to, and that's what she's waiting on right now, is for Ollie to come home and for her to just vent about what she saw, what just happened, and to kind of get his input on things, so she's just going to sit here and wait for him to come home. She's going to maybe play around with, like, um, you know her alchemy and everything just she's scared she doesn't know what to do it's dark a little light would certainly improve things um i don't think so sweaty but yeah she just she doesn't know what to do so she's gonna oh i don't know you guys i really don't know we actually gonna learn the potent zombification spell so let's actually go do that really fast um procreation elixir um, potent enlightenment. Where's the potent zombification? Potent zombification. Let's go ahead and read that really fast. Read lo losing the huckster label. No, another not as funny. But he comes home in a little over an hour, I think. Yeah, he comes home at 3 a.m. So we don't have too much time to wait, but she's going to sit here and read this book and everything. It's, oh, I cannot wait until Monty just gets the hell out of here because he's so annoying. And just what he did to have not is just mess the fuck up but he just he he, he, he gotta go y'all he just he, he really just gotta go Veneta learned how to make a potent zombification so that's fantastic let's actually learn how to make the fountain of youth um elixir as well just while we're here you know and then well, what do we need to make that um elixir because we need to do it for our turn 10 hours oh my god it's gonna take forever <laughs> y'all <gasps> we should turn him into oh she wants to turn him into a toad oh my god we should also turn him into a zombie monty yeah i don't know if it'll work on him though because he's already a vampire i don't know we'll see though oh i can't wait for him to come home he's gonna be home soon so that's good she now learned the other spell as well so that's, or not spell the um the elixir oh my god monty what the fuck are you doing up dude i don't think so okay where's this at we need a rhinoceros beetle how the fuck do we get a rhinoceros beetle? That's gonna be so difficult, bitch. Oh my god. Why is he awake? Um, no, you need to go back. Actually, he wants a midnight fucking snack, apparently. So, let's go have a quick meal of some plasma juice. And he, I'm, I guess it's like, you know, what are you doing out of bed or whatever? And she's just gonna ignore him. Just pretend like she's in her groove thing or whatever. Just pretend like she's reading a book. Pretend like she's researching alchemy, even though she has nothing else to research. But she's just going to look at that stuff. And we need to read Procreation. Yes, Procreation Elixir. Potent Enlightenment. Oh my god, T. Okay. Is Ollie home yet? He is home. Okay. Actually, forget that. Just kidding. Um, Don't read that. Just come on down. Stay. Actually, you can go pee first because I'm sure he has to take care of his needs as well. So just go ahead and go do all that fun mess. Um... He needs some food, so let's just go, oh, well, I guess just eat, like, some canned soup or something like that. So, the two of them are just talking now, and, oh my god, 
he is just he's being very supportive about everything and they look like they're laughing and blah blah, blah having a fantastic time which they are not sometimes i like to eat key lime pie for breakfast i don't think you've ever eaten that in your entire life but okay whatever sure we can go with it um Mad oh my fuck oh my god She knows. So I guess she knows who it is. Look at her. Look at how. Look at how her head's like down. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is so real. Madison Lockwood just had a little baby. Mom and baby are both perfectly fine. Hopefully Madison is prepared for the adventure that is parenthood. Oh my god. You guys. She literally knows. She knows. I guess she knew more about that freaking like vision thing than I originally thought. Um, girl, are you for real right now? Oh my god, give him a friendly hug. Yes. Oh my god, I literally cannot. She's gonna have to go to this bitch's house and like see this hoe. I'm sure she probably knows where that is too. So, um, yes, um, I'm. She, we're just gonna say that when she's researching alchemy, she's going to be, um, looking up, you know, like, a spell or something like that to find this girl's house or something, so, yeah, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and go on to, actually, we're gonna watch some TV really fast, just to get our fun up, and then we're gonna go to this chick's house later on, uh, today, so, oh my god, I don't think she's gonna want to marry Monty at all because as soon as she goes to this girl's house and asks her a few questions um we're gonna be wondering you know we can turn this off now um we're gonna be wondering you know um who the hell is the dad because I'm this is not okay this is not okay I will tell you right now this is just not okay this is not gonna go well for, Mo <laughs> for Monty period amen so fantabulous but let's go ahead and go use the bathroom Monty does he have work today? He does in three hours. Okay, perfect. Find that toss deek. So go ahead and go. Just go ahead and use the bathroom and then go. Wait, do you need to research? No, you can't even use that. Okay. Um, potent cure elixir. Oh my god, she knows how to do that now. Fantastic. Love that for you. So she knows where this chick lives now, I guess. So we're just gonna go ahead and um okay, I guess. Oh, he's hungry. Okay, are you gonna feed him? She is. What a good mom she is. I love her. Oh my god. Vanetta, my queen. Love that for her. Go ahead and feed him and then go put him back in the crib. And then just go ahead and go on to sleep, I guess. Just to be a little bit more rested because you're pretty damn tired. Um, no, honey. You need to come out here, sis. Go practice your chest. Hello? Why won't? Dude. Get out here now. Go we'll practice your chest. Why won't he do it? I'm so confused. Excuse you. Um, um, hello? Okay, timer, shut up. I'm not done. Why won't he practice chess? I'm so... Oh, the snow's too deep. Okay, whatever. I guess he can't do it then. Um, but he does have work in just a second, so... Go on to work, Mr. Monty. You can get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn auto lights back on. Auto lights, all lights. There we go, see Star Swayze. Um, they should, there we go, okay. He, dude, you need to like, go take a shower really fast and then go to bed, thank you very much. So go extreme sleep, I guess. And then this hoe also needs to just wake the hell up and go get herself some cereal. Go ahead and wake up, there you go. And then, oh my god, Vanetta! I don't know if we should go. How, how long have I been recording? 29 minutes. I don't think I've actually talked that much, though, so this part would be really short. I'm going to go to, like, 35 minutes, I guess. And just edit quite a bit, I suppose. But, a simfest. Um, I'd rather not go, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We need to go to this girl's house. Like, big time. Big time. Big time, big time, big time. He's going to be sleeping... She's choking on her cereal. <laughs> Ugh. And then she can go ahead and use the bathroom and go ahead and clean that and then go take herself a little shower. And then Vanetta, honey, 
I go ahead and wake up, I suppose, and then I she better be home whenever we get there, I swear. Just go ahead and have yourself uh, some juice really fast. Vanetta right now has, has been playing it like really chill, basically, but I think it's just she's in shock by what she saw and then the fact that she doesn't know exactly what happened and she doesn't know if like this kid is Monty's or not. She's suspecting that it is because, I mean, she found out about her being pregnant and having a child whenever Monty touched her. So she's suspecting that it is his child. And they're like almost the same age as our kid. So that means that they got pregnant around the same time. So she's, she's kind of freaking out just a little bit. Not going to lie. Uh, go ahead and throw this away. And then we will head on over to her house, I guess. Oh my God. She lives on over here. Way on over here. She is here. Okay, good. What? Madison's out. Did she just leave? Did she really? Is that Madison right there? I swear to God, if that's Madison right there, I'm going to be pissed. Is that Madison? Is that Madison? Unrendered. It is fucking Madison. Bitch, get the fuck home now. I swear to God, she better go home. Where, where is she going? Her kid's at home alone, I'm sure. I'm sure she is. Oh my god, girl. Just Do we know her at all? I don't think we do know her. Oh, do we? Oh my god. Okay, then let's just go on over to her house and invite her over. Yeah. Let's just do that then. Oh my god, I really hope that it all goes well. I doubt that it will, but you know. Wishful thinking, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and invite her over. Hopefully she'll come on over. Invite over. She I don't think she has a job, so it should work. Vanetta is so pretty. How could you cheat on her? I don't bitch. Where the fuck did she go? I think Madison is here. I don't know. This is her car, a big lemon. Maybe it's just this chick's car, because I know that she had a big lemon. But I don't know. Okay, let's just go ahead and buy and sell some of our stuff. Um, oh my god. Girl, what the hell is you doing? Oh my god. You are actually insane. Pregnancy really just fucked up your brain, honey. I wonder if I invite her out somewhere. Like, invite her out to, like, someplace. I don't know. Neutral? Like, invite her here? Let's invite her here and see if she'll come. I hope so. Change your outfit, honey. Call for protector. Oh my god. No, I'm not interested. Fuck you. Let's send her a friendly text and see if she'll come over. Girl, I need to talk to you so badly. Oh my god. I hate this dumb whore so much. We're just gonna go on home then. Um, and talk to her another day, I guess. She's. It seems like she's avoiding maybe Vanetta herself. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, that's not good. I wonder if she's home yet, though. Ooh, actually, come collect this really fast. Don't go home yet. I wonder if she is home yet. Do you think she'd be home? I don't know. I kind of doubt that she would be home. Yeah, she's not here. Will it tell me where she is? No, she says she's out. Will it tell Monty where she is? No, she's just out. Okay. Whatever then, sweaty. On that note, I guess I will go ahead and end the part here. Um, in the next part, I do definitely want to confront Monty and Madison and confirm that Monty did cheat, confirm that this baby is his, and hopefully in the next part we will break up with him and kick him the hell out. Hopefully, if all things go well, because right now Madison is avoiding Vanetta and she just needs answers. She doesn't even want to talk to Monty at all, so she might not go home today. She might just stay out and just trying to avoid him at all costs because she just really doesn't want to talk to him. So you'll see what happens in the next part, but I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave me a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone!